This video right here is sponsored by my kitten, Four Cheese Lasagna. Say hi to the people, Four Cheese. And thanks to Four Cheese for sponsoring this video and making it possible. This wouldn't be possible without him. Okay, you can go now, I'm sorry. So a few years ago, a modder by the name of JD Aster 64 released a mod for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door called the Infinite Pit of 100 Trials. And it seems like lately within the Thousand Year Door community, there's been a lot of people playing it and really enjoying it. So for this video, I decided to just check it out, kind of get my first impressions and learn a little bit about it. And there's actually a lot going on here. I think it's super cool. It really breathes some new life into Thousand Year Door that I think it kind of needed after 20 years. So come along with me and let's check out the Infinite Pit mod together. Um, as you can see, modifying Thousand Year Door is one of his passions and graphic design is not, but you know, <laughs> that's okay. As long as it's a sick mod, I can forgive the, the text on the title screen. So the name of the file actually does seed the pit that you're going to do, but this is essentially random to me anyways, since I don't, I haven't played this before. And in my opinion, one of the coolest things about this mod is just how many customization options you have over different aspects of the pit. You can change enemies' health and attack scaling, how many rewards you get on the chest floors, and so many other things. But for my first playthrough, I just decided to leave all of the settings default so I could experience the mod in its rawest, purest form. So first floor has a putrid piranha, and I got attacked by him because I'm bad. But I'm good, so I super guarded. Okay, yeah, he only has three health also. That's interesting. Okay, so those guys are not normally in the Pit of 100 Trials, and they normally have eight health. I don't know what his attack was, but okay, so this just like rebalances a ton of stuff to like create a new game, basically. We have a lot of guys here. Do they all hold stuff? Maybe that's part of the whole roguelike thing. Oh, I have like a starter kit. All right, you know what? Screw it. I guess we'll use the starter kit. If... An item is dropped from every battle, then I mean, I might as well use some stuff. Yeah, so I guess the enemies are just seeded from the game at random and they can have random stats and stuff. These guys can still duplicate, that has not changed. Okay, <laughs> no wait, this is toxic for the third floor. I do have another earthquake, but I really don't want to use it yet. Nice, three for three. Wait, did they rebalance that item? That does not normally heal five health in the base game. How many things are changed? Do I, I have to like relearn some mechanics? Oh my God, he's duping again. Dude, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening to me on the third floor. Okay, finish it off here. Nice, I hit every super guard in that battle. Let it be known, I am a god gamer at this game. So they do just drop items every floor, right? Oh, I start with these badges. Okay, yeah, peekaboo is free in this. I did notice that all the enemy health was visible. All right. Yeah, I'm going in so blind to this. I like skimmed through the trailer that was on the creator's channel, but I didn't do like anything else. I don't even want to begin to understand the star power system. I don't know if 150 is my max amount of star points or star power, and I just can't get any more, or like if it's just restored by a totally different system. Wait, I have earth tremor? I could literally be tremoring the earth right now. I'm gonna wait till the boo's not invisible. Wait, it can only go up to four? Is Earth Tremor nerfed? That's crazy, okay. So much of this stuff is gonna go like right into my brain and then out the back or something. A pretty lucky, hey girl. That guy has a power plus and that guy has an all or nothing, holy. Bonus reward, trial stew. Finish the fight within two turns. I did see those in the trailer. Apparently it can hit you with like random fight conditions. I don't even think I like want a trial stew, right? Like, does that matter to me? Damn, them tossing items at each other also really changes the game because enemies normally don't have access to this much stuff. Oh, okay, so I got my first level up and I see no reason why I shouldn't just put it into badge points, I guess. I'm sure I will very much need health later, but I don't need health at all right now. I got the power plus, let's go. Uh, screw pretty lucky, we're gonna get power plus going. Koops was just chilling in this box. He's like, hey, yo, Mario, let me out. I can't breathe. Super hammer. Feeling fine pee. I got Koops out of that box and I got the super hammer. So I am like five times stronger than I was on the last floor. Oh, okay. I don't think Mega Rush for Mario is that good because you don't want Mario to be chilling at one health. But Jumpman, 
Wait, should I buy ice power? Should I be responsible? Nah, I bet ice power will be back. I want jump man. Hell yeah. Oh, that's right. The game lets you save every 10 floors. That's actually so nice. What a good feature. Win with Mario in danger or worse for an HP plus P? I feel like I technically want that, but it's gonna take 10 years to get knocked down to Mario in danger. So I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. I don't wanna do that. It's gonna take so long. Yeah, so really this does start off pretty easy because I'm not like struggling to get through these fights or anything. Especially like, I feel like I'm disproportionately strong because these enemies are still weaker than default, but maybe they just feel weak because I did prologue pit last time I played this game. Here we are, floor 20, what do I get? It allows Mario to use level two of the move Earth Tremor. Wait, level two? So does it do more damage now? Spike shield, that's awesome. Double dip P. It's there. Wait, I can get another jump man. No, I can't afford it though. F doubles the damage Mario takes, but doubles coin drops. That's probably pretty good early game actually. Wait, I think that's a rebalanced version of double pain. It has the same sprite, but I think that actually goes pretty hard. I'll save spike shield for when I have jump man on and when I have super boots. So let's save and let's move on. My loadout is already, I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. Bonus reward, toughen up P, finish the fight within three turns. I don't know what a toughen up badge is, so that's not in the game, but I can do that condition, so I guess we'll find out. Is that gonna heal him for five? God damn it. Wait, I can't do this condition. Oh wait, I can. I can use the item. F you bitch. Oh, <laughs> let's go. So this is one FP to raise defense by two points for a turn. Wearing more copies raises the effect and FP cost. So it's not like that good, but it's kind of neat, I guess. Bonus reward, all or nothing. Use fewer than three hammer moves. Say less. Okay, this is fewer than three hammer moves. This is just one. The only time anyone has ever used super hammer to good effect. Look at that combo. Oh, he does four already? That's kind of brutal. I shouldn't have gone for the super guard. God damn it. I don't have a partner that can attack him yet. Okay, there we go. I knew I was going to hit it eventually. It was not a matter of if, but a matter of when. Yes. There's my bonus all or nothing. All or nothing is so strong because I just, I just hit my action commands. It's as simple as just pressing the button at the right time. Bobulk, what are you doing here? You know what? I'm just going to let him chill for a turn. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Bobulks don't do anything. Yeah, Bobulk sucks. Bobulk is like the worst enemy in the game. He's just, he's so useless. He's not that much stronger than a regular bulky bomb bomb. You'd, you'd hate to wake up every single day and be a Bobulk. Super boots. Let's go. That's what I was looking for. Clock out. Oh, Bobbery, what's up? I got the two partners that can't attack anything in the air. But more importantly, now that I have the super boots, I think I'm ready to start the jump man strats. So you know, screw HP plus, I need a spike shield. I think that's gonna be my best strat. Eventually I'm gonna need more health. In fact, I'll probably need more health very soon and maybe should pick it for my next level up. HP plus, appeal to the crowd at least four times. I can do that. So that's one appeal, two appeals, three appeals, and four appeals. And now this guy's about to pull up to the Demolition Derby, which is starring Mario's powerful f shoes. You know what? F it. <laughs> f get more badge power. I don't need health. We don't need health where I'm going. Bonus HP plus. I might actually put that on <laughs> after talking sh about health. Bonus reward, Shine Sprite. Take less than two total damage. Big if true. Don't do something useful. Perfect. Yes, he dropped multi-bounce. That goes crazy. So do I just use that to rank up a partner? Or it can raise max SP. Hella ranking up a partner. We're ranking up Koops. Koops deserves it. Bobbery is like decent, but Koops is, Koops is kind of the man. I just realized I still have the double damage badge on. That's why I was taking so much damage from that uh, bat before. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. That's an easy super guard timing. I don't really have like a ton of experience with like these guys because they're very limited in the base game how many of them you actually fight, but like it's pretty easy timing. F it. You know, we could always use a little more badge power. F it. P up D down. Let's go. Nice pop of the mic. All right. Give me some good. Sh give me some good good. Mega rush. Zap tap. 
And a shine sprite. Okay, we'll we'll go ahead and give Bobbery a good old rank up. Why not? Oh, I can sell stuff? I can sell level ups? Wow, his prices are not great, but I mean, there's some shit I just don't need. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna use the toughen ups. Um, never gonna use refund. This guy's a ripoff, but it's kind of worth to just not have this stuff. Okay, we got a poison pokey. Something tells me that he's not going to be that strong. I also could have jumped on him. Wait, what's wrong with me? I have jump man on. All right, we'll write this wrong. Or we'll wrong this right. That guy's going to stop watching me because I played like shit, but oh well. Whatever, it should be fine. <laughs> it wasn't fine. <laughs> Can I continue for my last save? Okay, it looks like I can. <laughs> I cannot believe that guy did 10 damage to me. What the f was that? What was that for? This time, let's kill the one that's actually a threat to me and to my well-being. I do have a, a PFD down on, I guess I gotta remember that, but still, the damage is scaled kind of quick now. Oh, but what if he drops another PFD down? <laughs> then I gotta use it, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, if the game's gonna offer it to me, you know, I guess I'll have to make room in my loadout for it. Sup, Bulky Bomb Mom? You know, we can't all be winners. We can't, we can't all be really strong, threatening, tough enemies, you know? And then finish them off with the Power Shell, use as much FP on one fight as possible. Oh wait, that Dark Koopa still has hella health. And hella attack! Oh my god. Things are scaling up fairly quickly. I think, you know what? I think I'll finally pick HP just so I can actually survive. Just kidding. I would never do that. I'm gonna put on the next PMD down, bitch. Sup, Bobulk? Get any stronger since the last time we met? I doubt it. Trash. I wonder if this guy can even use the item he's holding. I think bulky bomb bombs are just scripted to always do their thing no matter what. I don't even know if they can hold items in the default game. Uh, hey, big fella. I'm fighting a mini boss. And he's already getting destroyed. I do so much damage. That's right, he flies. He can fly. Okay, easy. I didn't realize there was going to be a mini boss, though. Are there other bosses that you can encounter in this? Because that would be sick. It would be awesome to encounter other bosses from the game just as, like, little mini challenges. Okay, we're at 50. Do I get strange tax still? Is that scripted? Okay, we'll take that. Yeah. Miss Mouse. Magical map. Level 2 sweet treat. More attack increases. More better. I can buy multiple. <laughs> All right, we're doing that. What? He has a lucky day. He's in a loop. Why is this animation looping? So I hella want to kiss Thief, right? I hella shouldn't have wasted Bobbery's turn to swamp. Oh, that wasn't the smartest thing that I've done. He dropped the courage shell. Why the f*** would I want the stupid courage shell over a lucky day? Boosts foes level by five, but temporarily gives them plus three attack. The f***? What does it mean for their level to be boosted by five? All right, f*** it. Let's just see what it does. So is he gonna give like hella star points or is that it? Also, what do you mean temporarily? Nine turns in Paper Mario is basically forever. What's the point of that? Did he give any more star points than the other one did? So I will upgrade HP in order to survive enemies better. I actually will pop on another HP plus for now. No, I'm four coins short. F you lucky day p lucky day p yeah i'll buy a lucky day p i'll make my partner invincible one day after i have enough you know badge power to support that economy seeing a fire bro is like a little intimidating wait does he take double damage because he's holding that badge <laughs> he does you yeah, idiot. Oh, I love when the badges affect the enemies. It makes, especially in something like this where they're all holding stuff, it makes it very interesting. Because it, it really just, like, uses another subtle mechanic of this game and really brings it out more. Oh, hello, Elite Wizard. 
I don't even want to know how much attack it has at this point. I'm actually very content uh, not getting attacked. Bonus reward, unsimplifier mark, and only defender use hammer moves. Don't care for an unsimplifier. The bonus conditions are a really interesting thing to add to this also. it I feel like, I don't know if the loot table for the rewards is just random or like what, but I feel like maybe it could be a little stronger. But that's probably a tweakable option in this. Oh my god, it's the f***ing Glitz Pit squad. Does Bombombas go through defense? Yeah, it does, baby. So that guy's life stream will get tripped. That's fine. And then I'll just kill him, and then I will level up, and it didn't matter that I used all the FP. And I'll finally upgrade my HP, just to get a, you know, bigger advantage in terms of survival. So with how many HP and FP pluses you get, I feel like there's very little reason to not just upgrade badge power every time. All right, 70, there's the little merchant man, there's that merchant man. Shine Sprite, Ruby Star, I can use Art Attack, and Power Rush. I guess we'll get Ms. Mao's upgraded, because I think that her healing ability is buffed. I think that's something I saw when I skimmed through the trailer. Oh, it's all fire, guys. Toxic. All right, well, I know what I'm doing. Oh, I could have used Art Attack also. Ah, eh, that was pretty worth, though. I liked that. That was sexy. 42 star points. I think that's the most I've gotten from any one battle yet. All right, I'm gonna start going for more FP because I just have a lot of FP pluses on. I'm finally gonna branch out, guys. <laughs> it's finally happening for real. I'm gonna stop joking about it. Oh, we're on 80 already? All right. Give me good sh That's good sh <laughs> Say less. Say less. You know what? F***ing FP plus. We just upgraded it. Okay, so... Things are definitely getting quite a bit stronger than they initially were before. There is a poison puff now. I don't know how much damage he's going to do, but I'm just going to take him out before I figure that out. See, I've barely been damaged so far, so I have no idea how the damage is actually scaling. Hey, throw back to the first floor where we had one of these homies. How much has he grown? He had like three health at the beginning. Now he has 13. Is that a dark Koopa troll? Oh, he's still weaker than normal though. Yeah, I'll do this. And then I'll do a little bit of this. Just because I'm not- uh, Power Shell probably would have killed him, but I'm not certain, so I'll just do that. Other than the one death that I had earlier because I was stupid, uh, this has not been too difficult so far. But my prediction is it is going to scale up drastically after Floor 100. Don't use attacks for two turns for a Shine Sprite. Mmm, f*** it, I'll go for it, f*** it. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, that's so hard to super guard. Alright, that's only one turn. We we can do one more of those. And I can I can use an item just to make my odds even better. Sure. Okay, he just chucked that at me. He really just did that. So I'll just give one of these. Gotta make up for lost time a little bit. Alright, just hit the hit the dodgy. And then I kill all three. Of course, of course I he dodged it. Enemies with evasion always win in this game. Oh rough. That's, That's a lot, a lot of, of damage. damage. How about a little more? I haven't thought about flex tape in so long, that kinda takes me back. Okay, we got a last stand. Last stand like could be useful, but Realistically, we're gonna get to the point where even having the damage that enemies does will not save me from shit, so... Alright, you know what? F I'm gonna keep going FP. I, th I think I'm gonna have pretty much as much FP as I'll need for a while now, but... Apparently, if I want more, there is another FP plus that just dropped randomly, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna do this because... I'm gonna kill him, and then the other one's just gonna waste a turn using power punch. Damn, get squirted on. <laughs> That's a big spider! Emerald Star, level 2 clock out, double dip P, Garnet Star, Showstopper. Alright, I'm down. I would have preferred Yoshi or Goombella or something, but you know. <laughs> HP plus P is probably more worth buying, but I'm greedy. I'm getting this f***ing thing. I'm getting another PFD down. Mario's defense is gonna be minus 4. This is a fantastic idea, I'm sure. Oh, that did five when I guarded it. Holy sh! That is unhinged. If I don't super guard all these, I'm just gonna fucking die. Wait. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> this is maybe not the best, most sound strategy I've ever come up with, but you gotta admit that it is fairly funny. 
I guess I'll leave the one with the pow block alive. He's gonna use- is the pow block gonna do, like, six damage to me because my defense is down by four? <laughs> That's f***ing ridiculous. Oh my god. This strategy is horrible. I'm taking so much damage. I'm gonna- I'm gonna make it to bone tail with this strategy. And then, uh, when I go past that, I'm probably gonna retool things a little bit. I really want Yoshi and Goombella. That's who I want so bad, because those jumps will just scale tremendously with all my attack increase stuff. Like, if anything, that's been holding me back so far. 20 f***ing health for a Dark Koopa. See, Dark Koopas, you can have as much health as you want. You're still pretty useless at the end of the day. Bonus reward, Shine Sprite again. Use fewer than three hammer moves. I... I can't use hammer moves anyway. I was never gonna use a hammer move. Moon Cleft with 12 health is kind of crazy. Oh, he doesn't have that much defense still, though. Default, he has five. Oh no, he does have five there. Is Koops just hella f***ing beefy? I think Koops is just hella f***ing beefy. So we will take another Shine Sprite, put it in my pocket. I love seeing these enemies that aren't supposed to be in the pit be in the pit. It... It just tickles the right special something inside of me. I'm gonna phrase it like that and just leave it like that. You know what? F all right, ready for the super garden? He does 11. He just did 11 damage to my f***ing dome. Oh my god. How much damage is Bone Tail gonna do? <laughs> I think I think Bone Tail is still in this, right? I mean, they had Atomic Boo on floor 49. Mm, should I be a little baby man and upgrade health? No, no. I've talked too much. Shit. I've come too far and talked too much. Shit. I can't upgrade my health now. Wait, he can still steal through that? Oh, he threw and used the mushroom. Oh, thank God. Okay, perfect. He actually threw that battle so perfectly because now I can win this turn. So I'll kill the bandit that apparently can reach through giant turtle shells and into your pockets. Then I can kill that guy. All right. Floor 99 was actually quite easy. And... For my troubles, I get an earthquake that I will not be taking with me. All right. Floor 99. Let's fucking switch to Bobbery, who has looked better. He could use some health. Look at his ass dinner. And I'm in. He's, he's doing fine. He's okay. Okay, let's just, let's just go into floor 100 with the current loadout. Why not? What do I have to lose other than 10 floors of progress? Okay, Bone Tail is in fact here, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Imagine if there was some other dragon there, some fourth dragon. All right, now the real question is, is Bone Tail stronger? Okay, well, he has the same amount of health as normal. I wish I had power bounce, but no, I don't. No, let's just not find out how strong he is. I'm just going to super guard him every time. Oh... That's a spicy meatball. His attack is normal, but my badges just make me so f***ing weak. I haven't tried Sweet Treat level 2 yet. So just give me more health. Oh, it's just Sweet Feast. Wait, how much SP did I pay for this privilege? I paid 3 SP for the privilege. That's not bad. And sure, I mean, he can heal himself, but I do more damage than 20 per turn, so he kind of just wasted a turn. I tried to super guard that, because it does just wait. Oh! I have a problem. I have an issue. <laughs> there is a little bit of an issue here. Um, f you. All right, there goes one of my life streams, I guess. It wasn't even the damage from that that did me in. It was getting confused. If I healed there, I would not have needed to pop the life stream, but oh well. We'll just finish this out with Coops. <gasps> F*** you! God damn it, I missed another super guard. I should have healed. Uh, that's why we bring life shrooms, ladies and gentlemen. After a couple life shrooms and some unfortunate circumstances. No more bone tail. Holy sh**, he gives me a lot of star points. Okay, cool. And in celebration of beating bone tail, I will finally be upgrading my f***ing HP. Big moment, I know. It's a big day for the 
little babies that need to upgrade HP in Thousand Year Door. So is this just gonna have rewards in it? I already have return postage. Oh my god, there's so many stats. In battle time, average battle time 47 seconds, average battle turns 2 turns, total turns 188, max turns 12 on floor and 100 times ran away. Oh my god, this tracks so much stuff. Who did I get? Ruby Star, Magical Map, Shine Sprite. What? Oh, I got Vivian. What's up, girly? And then do I just go to the pipe over here to continue? This doesn't make me leave, does it? And so that is the Infinite Pit of 100 Trials mod for Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Honestly, I love it so far. It breathes a lot of new life into the combat system that I feel like it really needed after nearly 20 years. It's always been one of my favorite combat systems in any video game. But the base game has just gotten so easy, as you can see, that's why I've been doing challenge videos with it. And this is another really fun way to do it that just adds some new mechanics and builds on old ones and just makes you consider the combat from a different angle, and I think that's pretty sick. It already took me a while to get to floor 100, so I think we're gonna call that good for today. Maybe sometime soon I'll do another video where I try to delve deeper in and maybe see how many floors I can get before it just gets too difficult. But for now, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more from me, make sure you click the subscribe button and the like button. All of this stuff is really the best way to support me and help me make more videos. So, that, GG.